check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. What's up, everybody? Quan here, back at you with another video. So, I'm here at F45 Santa Monica, one of the F45 training studios that I work at. So, remember I told you guys that Golds gets kind of weird about filming, so I'm gonna be filming in different spots to give you guys more variety. So today we've got a dumbbell focused shoulder workout. We might do some slight barbell work, but the majority of this workout will be dumbbells. So if you got a pair of dumbbells, pick them up, let's sit down and let's get to work and have some fun. Um, but before we do that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, guys. We've been growing and I really appreciate you all. We're gonna get as many workouts in as possible and I'm gonna document all of them. That way you guys can train with me for free. No charge, anything like that. Just watch the video and let's have some fun. I'll explain all the sets and reps and if there's anything I don't get while filming, I'll voice it over later on. So that way we get all the information that we need. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. As I said before, man, it's been awesome. Ring that bell for me and also I wanna say thanks to um, to everyone who's just been helping me grow, man. You know, click the links down below to get you an online training program if you'd like. Click down there, get you some uh, Transparent Lab supplements and get you an ice shaker as well, guys. So, got a brand new ice shaker. Chris Gronkowski sent it to me. I'm very thankful for this, man. Click down below, get you guys a little discount, get you one as well. So, we're gonna keep growing, keep pushing. I'm really thankful for all this, man. Thank you for everything you guys have done for me. And without further ado, let's get to that workout. Let's go. Yeah. Uh -oh. Gonna call it get rich. Who the man breaking all the rings? If you think you ball is all, you get dunked on. All right, folks. So we're gonna start things off with a seated shoulder press. So we're gonna do an Arnold press here. So we're gonna start in, rotate our arms up, nice and controlled here. Feeling pretty good today. We got the 50s here. Remember, had that little hernia issue right now, so we're not going super heavy. This workout's gonna be more volume based. That doesn't mean you can't get a good one in, all right? So we're gonna start out 15 reps here. Lay back, press up. Make sure you get that rotation, bring them up to the top. Control that way. We got a crazy workout today, so it's gonna be fun. Now we're gonna switch it up, go to the other side and hit some front raises and lateral raises. This is a tricep, so we hit all three exercises back to back to back to back, to back, going 12 to 15 reps of everything, really working on that contraction and taking our time, all right? Move to the other side. So, all right, folks, so we're gonna lean forward here on an incline bench. We're gonna go front raises, bringing those dumbbells up, nice and controlled here. Not one of those things where you're just swaying. Pick a way that you can easily maneuver, not where you're building momentum and just kind of flailing around. We're working on the complete shape of our delts here. So it's just gonna take a little bit more um, control and focus instead of just trying to ego lift and get the attention of people around you, all right? So now we're gonna move on to a reverse fly and we're gonna go a standing traditional shoulder press as well. It's reverse fly and standing press. So keeping this workout going, folks. All right, now that we've moved on to those reverse flies, remember it's another 12 to 15 here, and we're gonna go into a standing press. Most of these you can do with dumbbells, folks, so no excuses. The weight, if, it's, if you have weight that feels too light, slow the tempo down, go down like a 401, 601, something like that. And if it's too heavy, you know, start heavy, work your way down, superset with something like a pike push-up, which you're gonna see later, something where you can still get that load on your shoulders without using too heavy of weight or not being able to control the weight. So let's get to these reverse flies. We're gonna place the top of our head, Crowd our head on the back of this bench, or you can do a normal hinge at the hips. That's on the next one, you can climb bench. Head down, butt back, and fly. Okay. 
All right, that was 15 reps. Now we're gonna go right into a standing overhead press. Oh Lord. Moving on to the standing overhead press. Now we're gonna go a little bit heavy. So we're gonna go about sets of 10 here. So I'm gonna go pickups about 66s is what we have is the heaviest here. So we're gonna go neutral grip and explode out. So actually we're gonna go with 60s because I'm tired. So we're gonna go run to these eight to 10 reps. Get them up, stack, keep your core tight. Neutral grip. All right, so that was a little ugly, but the reason why I like to do some of them standing, especially when I don't have access to some of the heavier weight that I would do seated, is I feel like I can get more use of my core. As I'm trying to get my core stronger and a little tighter for this show, I'm just trying to use any excuse I can to get as much core work in as possible. So now we're gonna move on to some pike push-ups on the ground and a little bit of high row action. We're gonna superset the two. We're actually gonna use some different types of dumbbells for this one. We're gonna use the Y bell. So they're triangular dumbbells, but you can do this with any set of dumbbells. Since I have access to them, I like to use them just to keep it fun. And I'm gonna wrap this workout up. Only about six or seven exercises. Remember to do them either in giant sets or supersets. Three to four sets of everything, and we'll keep it going. You're also gonna see some of this workout in short form on some of my other social medias, as well as some shorts on here. So you're gonna see a different angle. That's because I film every set. I just only use certain sets for a certain video. So let's keep this thing moving. Sheesh. All right, so we've got the white bills down on the ground. I'm about to do some pike push-ups. So the key here is to get your butt in the air where your gaze or your eyes is looking between your legs behind you. So there's a trash can behind me. I should be able to see the trash can throughout the entire set here, okay? So we're gonna get those, that butt up in the air. It's a great way to hit your shoulders without having to lift weights. So if you have dumbbells at home, you wanna get elevated, you can, or you can just do them flat on your hands as well, all right? So let's get the get my butt up in the air, pause, and look behind me and get it done. 15 reps here. Get up there. Laying down, we're gonna get deep enough where we can really feel that stretch in our shoulders and press all the way up. We got 15 reps. Keeping the weight on our toes here, folks. Keep the weight on your toes. <sighs> all right, 15 reps here. So. Now we're gonna go into a high row. Standing high row is normally something that I like to do, but now we're gonna stay on our knees, stay down here. We're gonna high row up just to make sure that we don't get any extra momentum or swaying. So keep that midsection tight, row straight up. I'm gonna grab the top of these Y bells, put you grab the center of your dumbbells, however you can get a good grip. And we're gonna row up. Driving those elbows as high as you can. Another 15 reps or so. These dumbbells I think are about 30 pounds. there. Whew. All right, folks, jeez. It's a quick one. So that about does it. So get through those six or seven exercises, go three to four sets of everything, keep working, keep grinding. Your physique's gonna change over time. Make sure your food is correct. Make sure you're staying on top of things. Get your supplements in, whatever brand you use is cool with me. You know which one I use, Transparent Labs. Click down below to get you some. You already know the deal. And I uh, appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you guys for joining me for another workout. We're gonna keep training, keep pushing, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Appreciate you guys. Thanks.